All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of x is equal to 3. So to solve this, what I'm first going to do is I'm going to take the power of 1 over x on both sides. So I have x to the power of x to the power of 1 over x is equal to 3 to the power of 1 over x. Now, x and 1 over x, these two cancel out. So I have x is equal to 3 to the power of 1 over x. Now, if, if I take the W Lambert function of something in form x times e to the power of x, this is equal to x. So the W Lambert function basically says if I take something, if I take the W Lambert function of something in the form x times e to the power of x, that's equal to x. So in this case, I'm going to replace x with the W Lambert function. Or actually, before doing that, I'm going to rewrite 3 to the power of 1 over x as e to the power of ln 3 to the power of 1 over x. And e and ln, these two cancel out, so e to the power of ln 3, that's the same thing as 3. And now, this is the same thing as e to the power of ln 3 over x. So now, if I multiply both sides by ln 3 over x, these two cancel out, and I get ln of 3 is equal to e to the power of ln 3 over x times ln 3 over x. And now I can go ahead and take the W Lambert function of this. So I have to take it on both sides. So now this side is simply equal to ln 3 over x. Now, if I multiply both sides by x, these two cancel out, and I get x times w lambda function of ln3 is equal to ln3. And now if I divide both sides by w of ln3, I get x is equal to ln3 over w of ln3. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 18 is equal to 81 to the power of x. So I want to find the value of x here. So to start, I'm going to first take the power of 1 over x on both sides. So now I have x to the power of 18 to the power of 1 over x is equal to 81 to the power of x to the power of 1 over x. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m, to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So in this case, I have x 81 to the power of x to the power of 1 over x, and I have x to the power of 18 to the power of 1 over x. So this is the same thing as x to the power of 18 times 1 over x is equal to 81 to the power of x times 1 over x. So then these two cancel out. I'm left with x to the power of 18 over x is equal to 81. Now, if I subtract 81 on both sides, or sorry, actually, if I subtract x to the power of 18 over x on both sides, these two cancel out, and I have 0 is equal to 81 minus x to the power of 18 over x. And now I'm going to rewrite this as 0 is equal to 81 minus x to the power of 1 over x to the power of 18. So I simply wrote this like this in this form. Now, if I take the power of 
1 over 18 on both sides. I get 0 is equal to 81 to the power of 1 over 18 minus x to the power of 1 over x to the power of 18 to the power of 1 over 18. And then these two cancel out. And I get 0 is equal to 81 to the power of 1 over 18 minus x to the power of 1 over x. So now if I add x to the power of 1 over x on both sides, these two cancel out, and I get x to the power of 1 over x is equal to 81 to the power of 1 over 18. Now, 81 is the same thing as 9 squared, so now I have x to the power of 1 over x is equal to 9 squared to the power of 1 over 18. 2 times 1 over 18, that's 1 over 9, so I have x to the power of 1 over x is equal to 9 to the power of 1 over 9, meaning x is equal to 9. Alright guys, welcome back to Clear Dynamics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So I have x to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 2048. So I obviously want to find the value of x here. So for my solution, I first start with x to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 2048. Now, well, 2048 this is the same thing as 1024 times 2, right? So now I have x to the power of x is equal to 2. Now I'm going to replace the value of 2048 with 1024 times 2. So now I have 1024 times 2. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m to the power of n, and this is also the same thing as a to the power of n to the power of m. So in this case, 2 to the power of 1024 times 2, I'm going to rewrite this as 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 1048. Now, as you all probably know, 2 to the power of 2 that's simply equal to 4. So now I have x to the power of x is equal to 4 to the power of 1048. And now I'm going to repeat the same thing again. So again, 4 to the power of 1048, 1048. Sorry, this isn't 1048, this is 1024. So 1024 is equal to 512 times 2. So now I have x to the power of x is equal to 4 to the power of 512 times 2. And again, I'm going to rewrite that as 4 to the power of 2 to the power of 512. Now again, 4 to the power of 2, that's obviously 16. So now I have x to the power of x is equal to 16 to the power of 512. Now I'm going to repeat the same thing again. 512. This is equal to 2 times 256. So now I have x to the power of x is equal to 16 to the power of 2 times 256, which is the same thing as 16 squared to the power of 256, which is the same thing as 256 to the power of 256, meaning x is 256.